Hello everyone, and welcome to something a little special that I like to call the Midnight Let's Play. I mean, it's not really a Let's Play at this point, I mean, we've been playing TF2 for a while. I have like, I don't know, 600, 700 hours probably on record for this game. And a lot of wasted money. I mean, many of the... Just about everything for my demo I bought. These, my Iron Bomber, not him, but you know. Just about every class, really. I remember when I first started playing this game. It's weird, because I've seen other friends play before, and so I kind of caught on to the things not to do. Someone even said once I first played that I was a relatively new player, but I played like I was experienced. Even some of the t tricks I didn't catch on to, I found out pretty quickly. Like, you don't stand out in one place, out in the open for more than a second at a time, because you will get shot by a sniper. I guarantee you. <sighs> and when I first got into the game, I actually chose to main demo. I don't know, there was just something appealing about him. Maybe because he has one eye, he's black, and he's Scottish, which is a, a good on you, Valve. You got a Scottish and a black guy all in one. Hmm. Or maybe it's just the random shit you can do in this game. The weird weapons, everything. I don't know. Or maybe I just felt like I was messing out. I think it's that option, actually. But anyways... Actually, no, just to make this a little easier. You know what, screw it, let's just select all of these. I wish I had a channel when I first started playing this game. Just to sh just to show you the evolution of from me being a noob to being what I am now. Still a good player, but you know. You know, I have a few things to tell you about this game. Like for well, for example, if you play like something like Call of Duty or Battlefield and you start this game up just know, this is a team-based first-person shooter, so it's not gonna, so it's gonna have completely different mechanics than anything else. There's different classes, different weapons, even. Oh, hey, my friend joined the party. Some weapons can suck, kind of like the, well, the vaccinator, yes, but only if you know how to use it correctly. Or something like the Enforcer, which used to be good up until, you know, it was nerfed. A lot of weapons get nerfed. Hell, the Extinguisher's been nerfed several times. I can't even count how many. It's been that many. <laughs> and some weapons have even gotten a buff, like the Short Circuit. This thing. Which, uh, word of advice, if you have the Rancho Laxo taunt and you have this thing out, it looks hilarious. It looks like you have a crab claw. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> but anyways, in this video, I feel like once I get into it, I should just kind of show you the ins and outs of some of the classes for you newer players out there. I thought, uh, since it's quiet and peaceful, we may as well just do this. If we ever freaking find- you know, it's- again, screw it. Let's get some more modes in. Can't get a hit right now, if not King, they'll- uh, Attack and defense. There we go. And let's see.
<laughs> but I'll explain more about the other class classes later. But as I was saying, if you're just getting into this game, there's nine available classes to pick from. There's the Scout, the Soldier, the Pyro. Oh, and there are also three different, three different, um, I, I don't know, subclasses. There's Offense, which are these three, Defense, which are these three, and Support, which are these three. Now we're joining, so let's actually show you the magic, well, magic here. So when you join a game, you'll notice this. Cheating will result in a, well, can, if you're caught cheating. And yes, just know that they're just like in Call of Duty and other games. There are a lot of, plenty of hackers. Mm. Good old sip of Midnight Coke. The beverage, not the, not cocaine. I, it, it, I hope you get it. Corrin the Dragonborn does not promote the usage of any illegal drugs, but it is fun. Alright, well anyways, let's get into this. I'm gonna show you the scout first. Now the scout's kind of a good, well, well, kind of a unique class. He's got um, a, a thing called a scatter gun. Well, I'm not using that. This is called the force of nature. It it's literally just a sawn off shotgun. There isn't much to explain. Also lag. Lots yes. There'll also be a lot of lag from time to time. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, well, no, no, not, okay. Now, now we're kind of running. Still not. We're still getting the. Sh still getting a lot of fucking lag. I ain't going out there until. Oh god damn it. Mm. We'll wait till the next game starts. And I'll explain to you in detail what the scout is. Just for the sake of this, I'm gonna go the all stock loadout. Anyways, also be very patient with this game. And not only does it take a lot of time to really get good at, but also loading. It'll take a while sometimes. I'm not kidding. But besides that, let's try to get into this without fucking lag. Alright, so this is the scout. He's the fastest class in the game. He has a scatter gun with the stock scatter gun has six shots in it. And it'll take out a lot of classes in like relatively short range. Not that guy. It, that that sniper rifle is also a reskin of something called the Machina. But I'll get into that later. Alright. Now every class has 
usually three, well, three main weapon options. There's primary, which is the scat, which for scout, it's the scatter gun. His secondary, which is the pistol. And then he has his melee, which is, for most of his melees, they're just a baseball bat. Now the scatter gun, well, it's kind of like a shotgun, but you know, not you have to be clo a lot closer to use it. <laughs> but if you know how to use scout correctly, he could be a very effective asset on the battlefield. Oh, got a needle in my king arm. Oh, and if you're first playing the game, if you want to know how to do that, G is the taunt key. Now, when you start out, you really won't have anything, like, at all. <laughs> now, try to use scout speed to flank and dodge enemies. That's how he's so, that's the way he's so effective. We'll get into medic later, but yeah. Now his secondary, the pistol, it's good for engaging targets at longer range. <laughs> so really, use the pistol or any really of scouts pistols like at long range if you're see kind of like that if your scatter gun is least effective because your scatter guns way more effective at close range and most of the time can like two or three shot just about any class except for all overhealed heavy but you get, remember you gotta get close to it so you gotta get close to people in order to actually deal real good damage. He all, oh, and before I forget to mention, the scout also press space to jump is in a class. This probably is obvious, but scout can double jump. He also has a weapon called the Atomizer, which is a baseball bat with that, not many abilities, but besides the fact that it lets you do one extra jump. And that could be really effective for moving around. Here. But also, you need to know when to use Scout in a game. You can't just go, oh, I'll just pick Scout and go here. No, try to choose a class that's appropriate for the situation at hand. Like, since Scout's an offense class, and he's really basically only an offense class, can't really use him for too much defense. Oh, you can also two-shot sentry guns with a s mini sentries with a scatter gun. Not regular sentries, that's a death wish. You, you'll you'll see eventually once I get to engineer. <laughs> now, like I was saying, scout is highly situational. Usually, if you're on offense or like in a in a map of capture the flag, scout that's where scout shines. Now, on to soldier. Now, Soldier, he's a fun class. <sighs> Soldier, he's an offense class that uses a rocket launcher to attack enemies. Oh, and before I forget, he also has a really useful ability. Watch this. 
That's what we call a rocket jump. Mm. It's used to get around the map pretty effectively. Now what I just did, that's uh... Get the, I think that... I'm not good with my directions. I think that's vertical. Yeah, that's vertical. <laughs> and a soldier also... So yeah. And if you do this... You can go forward with the rocket jump. And since Soldier has one of the highest damage outputs in the entire game, like literally, no kidding, this paired up with the rocket jump can be incredibly effective. Now, Soldier also has a shotgun. This is like the scatter gun, but, you know, kind of better. <laughs> this is just like, kind of like the scatter gun. You're meant to engage enemies at close range with this. Well, that, of course, that's what a shotgun is kind of used for. Rocket jump up here. Took out that demo. Oh, and if you keep killing players, kind of like that pyro is to me, you get something called a domination. And if someone kills you, like, just in general, when you the person you've been dominating kills you, they get something called a revenge kill. It's nothing really special, it's just thought I'd throw that out there. Oh, and if you crouch jump, hold the crouch button and whatever button you use to jump, which is probably space, you can go even higher with your rocket chance. I mean, we fail here, but, you know. That happens. Just know that you're not going to win all the time. And Soldier's Melee is a shovel. Th that that's it that that's the chip now for the next class and this guy's fun this is the pyro let's select him real quick with thing selects the hell's happening here let's do this Now I'm using a few cosmetics, but here I'll switch it up for you. Mission begins in 30 seconds. All right. There we go. Now we're pyro. Th this thing is called the rain blower. It's basically just the stock flamethrower, which is what the regular weapons for each class are called. The default ones you get, they're called stock. Yeah, this is basically just that, but you know, it's looks like this. The pyro also has the three classes, well, yeah, yeah, three classes that can use the shotgun are the soldier, pyro, and engineer. The engineer, however, he has multiple different types of shotguns, which is cool. Some classes can use also multiple different types of shotguns too. Weapons like those are called multi-class. Now, the pyro, well, he's got a flamethrower, so... I'm pretty sure you know what flamethrowers do, right? They spew water at people. No, they don't. I was just seeing if you were paying attention. If you believe that, then good. You're smart. The flamethrower, as the name suggests, suggests is well hold on let's quit to respawn before I say any more oh whoa I didn't notice that whole under part right there huh that's a new one yeah maps also have really fun aesthetics like that Stuff in the background you don't usually tr pay attention to, but 
or fun if you do. Now the pyro's flamethrower is, well, for that, setting people on fire. I mean, if you didn't know that, then I, I mean, really? And this is a weapon called the Axe Extinguisher. Well, this is an achievement item, but, you know, uh, it's his ma it's it's an axe. Still, okay. Then he's got, of course, the shotgun, which is, I already explained that, relatively in a nutshell what it is. <laughs> oh, and the Pyro has a second, if you click left mouse, he has a thing called an air blast. This can reflect projectiles, um, blow other enemies away, or like what I just did. If your teammates are on fire, pr please try to prioritize air blasting them, because that can really save some people. <laughs> and then for Pyro's melee, he has an axe. <laughs> now, later down the line, hope pr you'll probably unlock an item called, well, you'll get a random drop of an item. You have a chance of getting random weapon weapons randomly if you don't buy them, of course. But you get a weapon called the Home Wrecker. You also get something called the Neon Annihilator, which, if a spy is sapping in your, a friendly engineer's sentry gun, you hit his sentry when a sapper's on it, and it'll remove it. This can help your team. Incre this could be incredibly useful to your team. So if you can do that. Boom. See, there's a revenge kill right there. You Huh, those guys have like the same these guys have the same profile pictures they're just different colors I'm taking a screenshot of this this is weird hmm. but I'll continue once we get into another game so the next class we're gonna be going into is my favorite the demo man Now, before we start, remember to click subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. I know just about every YouTuber does that, so, you know, it, it's not a surprise at this point. <clears throat> also, it's good, I can't think of other ways to pass the time while new rounds are loading. Um, we're getting there. <sighs> well, anyways, here we go. We're in. Now, here is my personal favorite class, the Demo Man. Now, I of course spent a lot of money specifically on Demo Man. 
Mika as well. Like I said, he's my main. But the demo man is kind of like the soldier in a certain regard that he has uses explosives as a weapon. Only the only difference being that demo man uses explosives more than soldier. <laughs> oh, and demo also has a has a similar ability to soldier in the fact of rocket jumping. Here, watch this. See that little hop right there? That's what's known as sticky jumping. These are sticky bombs. You can tell because they stick to wall. Uh, okay, I mean, that's obvious. Use these to set. You could use the sticky bombs to set traps for unaware enemies. It works in a lot of very fun maps and places, like it's eerily effective, but uh, I'll get in more into that later. I'm using a weapon for Demo Man called the Iron Bomber. Uh, it's a festive one, but, you know. Still. Same general idea, again. Oh, and that, what my friend right there has, a sword and a shield. There's a subclass for Demo Man called Demo Knight. Left Oh, and also, before I forget to mention, if you place down your stickies, click the right mouse button to detonate them. <laughs> but you could, like I said, do a thing called a sticky jump, which is very effective in a lot of scenarios. And then Demo has a melee. Well, his stock melee is literally just a bottle. He, he's a he's a drunk black Scottish guy. Do you real? Did you really expect anything more? <laughs> no. Demo Man is a defense class, which means he's used to hold positions, but he can also be used as an offensive class. O offensive as in used to attack, not like offensive as in racist. I mean, I guess he can be kind, kind of racist, but you know, that's up for debate, really. I, ooh, hey, I didn't notice this before. There's a minor helmet and... yeah. Huh. Weird. Yeah, we've already captured this point. That's cool. <laughs> now, the mail demo's melee is just, well, just like any other melee. If you somehow, which you will a lot of times, run out of ammo, try to avoid that. You have his, have any classes melee, which will be used to try to attack. I mean, it'll usually fail. I, let's be honest, no one really uses melee. Unless you're going full on Demonite or Pyro Shark or Trollger. Hmm, can we sneak up on this sniper? Boom! There we go. You can also use them to do that. I was gonna put down another one, but I had a feeling he'd notice before I got the chance. <laughs> it's 
See, like I said, melee usually fails. But there isn't much, it's pretty easy to get to used to demo. Now, the next class, Heavy. As his name suggests, he's Heavy, he's a slower class, he's, he's big, he's, he's fat, he's muscular, he's, he's a bold Russian guy. Yeah, I'm not kidding, he's actually Russian. Literally, we got the scout who's from Boston, the soldier who's also American. Then we got the pyro who's what, whoever the hell he is. <laughs> we got the demo man who's black and Scottish. Then we got the heavy who's from Russia. Now, heavy also has a shotgun. Oh, thanks pyro. Yep, see, do that with pyro if you have a chance. Try to extinguish your teammates, it'll really help them. Now, Heavy has a minigun, which is literally just a machine gun, and it can't be reloaded. And yes, it can't run out of ammo pretty easily, if you just constantly are firing it. Unless you're standing by a dispenser, which I'll get into later. Now that, and like I said before, the heavy's primary is his minigun, which he calls Sasha. I'm not kidding, watch the Meet the Heavy video, it'll tell you some stuff, but not a lot. And that scout thinks he can pull a fast one on me, yeah? Literally. Oh shit, cr crit grenades. Seriously, crits from a demo or like a big pain in the ass? You know, just for the sake of educational purposes, let me go to the resupply and equip something for you. Alright, now I've equipped something kind of special. This is, this is where it gets kind of funny. Oh, and by the way, before I forget to mention, if you hold down right click, you can rev up Heavy's minigun, which will actually make your gun fire quicker, but it'll also actually make it more accurate. Boom, killed that guy. Kim. Ah, uh, thanks Pyro. And now here's, I equipped this. You might be wondering, but Corrin, that's a sandwich. Well, look, you're wondering, Corrin, is that a sandwich? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, it is. It's literally just a fucking sandwich. But the good part about this is, when you eat it, it'll help restore health. <laughs> and most of the time, with the sandwich, yes, it's pronounced sandwich, it'll restore you to basically full health every time. Destroy that sticky bomb. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can get rid of demo sticky bombs by shooting them. Heavy's melee? Yes, he just punches you for his melee. That's all it's really used for, honestly. Now, once this next round's. Ah, here we go. This is good because now we're playing defensively.
Now, this is what I meant by the engineer, the engineer, or NG as some people call him, has a lot of different types of shotguns. This, I'll show you what this does real quick, actually. Oh, also there's this. I'll get into this later. There's not much you really need to know about en the engin engineer, but other than he's got, of course, a shotgun, a pistol, and a wrench for building things. Now, you press 4, you can enable his construction PDA, which lets you build sentries, dispensers, and teleporters. This is where his wrench is used for. See, you just let it build, it goes slowly, but if you hit it with your wrench, you'll notice it does build faster that way. Now this right here is a level 1 sentry gun. This is, this is kind of just the standard, yeah, put down a sentry gun. This is what it looks like when you put it down. That, this is a level 2 sentry. This is kind of like a level 3, only with one thing missing. You'll see that, see what I mean in a moment. Just needs some more metal. We're getting there. Okay, well, basically, if they destroy my sentry, I'm just gonna tell you right now. The level 3 sentry gun has rockets attached. See that, that. That's what the uh, level 3 looks like. It has rockets attached to it, as well as the other machine guns. These are all of the other engineers' shotguns. This one is war painted. It's I think called the Panic Attack, which I'll get into that later. This is what's known as the Frontier Justice. It's an achievement item, which means just by doing stuff as engineer, eventually you'll unlock this thing. But it's used for if your century just so happens to be destroyed and it gets enough kills on it before it does so. <laughs> and it gets enough kills on it, you'll get crits, which is... Basically, it just does a lot more damage. And depending on the amount of kills your sentry got, that's how many crits you'll get with the Frontier Justice. Then there's... He has the ability to build dispensers, which give your team health and ammo. Of, just like the... Just like with the sentry, all of his buildings have a level 1, a level 2, and a level 3. Then he has teleporters, which are used to... Get to the front lines quickly. And what else? Oh, well, there's obviously his wrench, which I just said. It's used to... It's not only a melee, it also is used to quickly build up his sentry guns. <laughs> and then there's... Well, there's not much more to that than the engineer. Oh, but you do have a way to de destroy your own sentry guns if you press 5. Well, I set mine to a bind, but I set mine to a different bind. But usually, if you press 5, there is a destruction PDA. 
That's useful for destroying your own sentries. Now, let's get into medic, because this is where it gets a little more complicated. Now, medic, for his um, standard weapons, he has a syringe gun. The metagun, I'm using a thing called the vaccinator, which is different from a normal metagun. And then he has a melee, which is like a saw. <laughs> but this is the uber saw. <laughs> There's a joke that goes around that this thing has a 100% critical chance. Some people actually believe that. that There's a... Uh, there's a... Uh, you, you know what, I'll, I'll just tell you later, but... <laughs> this this is one of the only um, medic melee weapons that has a taunt kill. But anyways... <laughs> with enough... <laughs> when you heal someone with this... Yes, this is used to heal your teammates. <laughs> you have a... See this meter in the bottom right? Watch this. I am fully charged. Now the vaccinator is different because it has multiple charges. But he has a thing called an uber charge. For the stock metagun, it keeps you... You're basically invincible for 30 seconds. Well, except to environmental damage. <laughs> but here's how the vaccinator works. Well, <laughs> Once the pyro gets into battle. Yep. It gives your... The vaccinator gives resistances to your teammates. <laughs> the resistances are primarily for... Yeah. <laughs> Crap, I gotta retreat. I'm by myself, I d yeah, the reason I'm retreating is, oh, you might be also asking, oh, why aren't you standing and fighting? Well, the m medic's a fu weak fucking class. No, that's why no one likes to play him. No, that's why no many, not many people play him in casual servers. Oh, and if you click R with the vaccinator, you can change resistances. There's bullet, e explosion, and fire. Bullets good for mostly like sentries and other things. Oh, and you'll build Uber faster if <laughs> But as I was saying before I was killed. You'll actually build Uber faster if the person you're healing is injured. So just he having a metagun beam on them is not as effective as if they're wounded because that'll help mainly you and your team and a regular standard uber charge has the power to win games it's that good the uber saw which i'm using right now if you hit people with it you gain some uber if i ever get the chance to do that i'll show you how that works like right now if i can sneak up on this ng See, look, I have one full meter charge already. Two. See, that's how the Uber saw works. Mm. And that's basically all you really need to know about Medic. Oh, and another thing. At the start, before a round starts, you build up Uber charge incredibly fast, so use that to your advantage when you start a round. That'll help you greatly. But just know, if you can do this, so can the enemy. So don't just think, ah, oh, I can uber charge, I'm invincible. No, other people can do that too. In fact, let me show you something. There's a thing we like to call as medics, it's called the meta. There's the uber saw, the, the meta gun, I'm using a war painted one. And then there's this beauty. This is called the crusader's crossbow. If my teammates get injured, I'll show you what this does. If I don't get killed right off the bat. Oh, hey, soldier.
miss if you shoot your teammates with it, this will heal them. If if they could instead see just like that. That's how this works. And yeah, this is what we call the meta, the Uber saw, the regular meta gun. This is what has the standard Uber charge. Probably should have been using this to explain it so it doesn't confuse you, but you know. I'm different from most people. The Medic also has a, two other types of meta guns. One's called the Crits Krieg, which gives your. well, does what it sounds like it does. It gives the person you're healing crits once you get your Uber charge built up. Then he has the thing called the Quick Fix, which will. when you use it, it's. It's primarily used for... I'd shoot this heavy in the face, kind of help him out a little bit. Oh crap, he died. And then he has the the medic also has something called the quick fix, which not only heals your team incredibly fast, but also when you overcharge with it, it boosts healing like majorly. But a crit Krieg will punch right through that thing, so it's highly situational. And that's basically all you need to know for medic. But play. Medic, however you want to play it, however you feel is more most effective. I like using the blue sauger. Here, let me just show you what the other medic guns look like. Here's the quick fix. This is what notice. This is what was in the meet the medic video, but this can't actually do the uber charge. This does something different entirely. And some have a faster uber charge rate. This has a plus 25 uber charge. This has a plus 10. This has a plus 67. Which is why it's really good for deploying charges quickly, but the way it does it is different. And this is the Crits Krieg, which gives your team free crits. I like using this a lot just because crits, those... Are you kidding me? Those are amazing. Oh, the Vitus Saw, this is different. This, you hit someone with this, you get a thing called organs. If you hit someone with this, when you die, however many organs you have, you get, you retain a little more, of you, a little bit of your uber charge after you respawn from death. This can be very effective, but most people just seem to like to use the the, the uber saw for whatever reason. But yeah, I'm gonna switch back to my the loadout. Now here's sniper. He is well. If you've ever played Call of Duty, you know what you know what this is. Th this is the sniper. You know, uh, MLG compilation, 360 no scope, 4 420 blaze it, uh, quick scope, MLG. You 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 get the point. Now, th most most people take are they look really edgy in this game because they play sniper. Now the sniper has, of course, a sniper rifle. Why wouldn't he? But he also has an SMG. This is a different type of SMG. And then he has a thing called a Kukri, which is what this is, but again, this is another different one. What I'm using is a weapon called the Machina. Basically, just shoot someone with this when your meter is fully shot. Oh yeah, you'll notice when you're scoped in, see that little bar right there? That's used to help help you know how charged up your weapon is, which it'll do more damage when it is. <laughs> so with the Machina, you just fully charge it and basically you just shoot someone and it'll kill them. And then the SMG, well, you know, it's a, it's a submachine gun. It it does what submachine guns do, and that's and that and that's just submachine gun things. It's submachine guns people to death. I, I don't know how to say this. It's it's a, it's a small it's a smaller version. Well, this one is just a mini flagistinator. 
talk more about the more advanced weapons. Well, advanced. I use the term advanced loosely in later videos. And yep, you headshot someone, it'll kill them basically most of the time. It does exactly what it sounds like. It sounds like it does. Honestly. But there isn't much you need to know about the sniper other than that, well, he also has this, the Sydney Sleeper. It coats enemies in something called Jirai, but you can't headshot. Well, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, no, I'll actually, we'll talk about these later. This is a bow and arrow. It's called the Fortify Compound. I'll talk about this later, too. He also has this Jirai and this. This is really effective because it helps stop one backstab from a spy but then you have to go to the resupply locker and get another one and this is just you know what you think it is it's his melee only this one does bleeding damage to your target which is a damage over the time effect oh hold on let me switch back to what i was using <laughs> oh and some weapons have item sets like this one goes with this one then i have a hat there's a hat for the those two but i don't have it I'll switch back to the Machina. Now here's Spy. Spy is, uh... He's complicated. You see, Spy is unlike any cla class that in this game. He has his primary, his revolver. I'm using something called the Ambassador. Achievement item which headshots people. Yeah, you'd think any gun would be able to deal criticals if you shoot someone in the face with it, but, you know, this is not how that game works, apparently. How this game works, apparently. This is the Electro Sapper. This is used for, like I said, you, like I mentioned before with Pyro. You put the, and that I forgot to mention with Engineer. You put this on an Engineer's sentry gun or any buildings, and it'll destroy it over time. But the engineer and the pyro with the home wrecker can still remove this, so be careful. Then he has a knife. This is used for stabbing enemies in the back. This is a your eternal reward. It lets you disguise as the person you stab with. Oh, and this is this is death. Don't do that. Hold on, let's see what this is. New item? Oh, another lolly chop. That's a, just a reskin of the axe for Pyro. <laughs> but then, and then you right, cl you click right mouse button, and he does this. This is called a cloak. This will turn you invisible and make you un. This will well, what it says it does. It makes you invisible to enemies. Unless you get set on fire, jarotted, wet, coated in mad milk, it just, it, the list goes on. Or take damage, really. It blips you if you're, or if you bump someone. You're not a ghost, people can't pass through you. And then here's something called the Disguise Kit. I mean, I absolutely suck at Spy, so I'm not really gonna show you much. Most people will gravitate towards him immediately because he's just kind of a he's just kind of an interesting class. Oh and um quick tip you do. Oh wait, no, not this. You it's uh, yeah, and you can switch to your skies of your team. You say, oh, why would you want to do? You might be asking, why would you want to do that? Well, as spy, you don't want people to know that there's a spy around. You want to be as stealthy as possible. Hmm. I think you can cloak and everything.
action ends in 30 seconds. But with the spy's knife, if you stab someone, if you attack someone from behind with a knife, it'll, it's a guaranteed insta-kill, unless someone has the razor back, which is, you know, that thing for sniper, it's a back shield. And unless, unless someone's overcharged or have a razor back, you're guaranteed to kill them with a backstab most of the time. Let's see, what else do you need to know? Oh yeah, like anything, Spy has multiple different types of weapons. I have two of these. He has this thing called the Latrange, or Latranger, I like to call it the Latranger just because it sounds easier. Does this, is, I only have his regular knife and this knife. Then there's these, the Stock and Vizwatch, which is just a, you know. Then there's this, it's called a Dead Ringer. It can fake your own death. And there's multiple, there's only like three sp specific, well there's like four types of these. There's this one, that uh, ask her, I'll get into those a lot later. But that's honestly all you really need to know about the cla other classes. P pick which one you feel is the easiest for you to play. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I killed that, that. I didn't backstab him, but I killed him with my knife. I could have backstabbed him had that sentry gun not be there. Get in there all over you. Mm. But anyways, I'm gonna complete this match and that should be the end of the video. But I'm switching to demo. Hey, there was a pyro behind you. Switching back to demo. But anyways, let's complete this match. I mean, so we have eight minutes left. I feel like we can hold this point. Let me pull back. Ah, oh, crap, they're Ubering. I need a med- I need a medic like bad. Oh crap.
I'm gonna switch to this sword. The Claydemore. It's kind of like the Islander, but different. Yes, that's what that sword I had was called. Boom, got someone. I got the scout apparently. Oh crap, they might get this. Never mind. Ah. Oh, something I forgot to mention is demo. Yeah. If you hold down the fire button as demo you can charge up the you can charge up the sticky bombs like watch hush stop doing that it doesn't increase its damage but it increases the distance in which they travel look like if i just shoot this and then if oh actually now here, like, if I just shoot this like this, and then I shoot this at full, see how far, much farther that one goes compared to those two? Hmm. And that could be pretty effective. I am a fan of efficiency, after all. Scouts of Pyro, though, is the thing. Oh, whoa, is he? What the, uh, is that the Voodoo Juju? No, I don't think it is, but you know. Trap, our dispenser's down, and so am I. <laughs> oh, crap. We might lose this. No, oh my god, we saved it. Thank god. I can sticky spam too. Oh, and I got killed by Glass Joe, that weak ass first punch out boss. I mean, if none of you have played Punch Out, you, you just, I mean, you should, but you shouldn't. I mean, it's kind of an old game at this point. Uh, two minutes left. Oh crap, they're Ubered up. <laughs> Was killed by Glass Joe again. <laughs> oh, scary. No, oh, these are the most intense two minutes I've ever had my entire life. Damn it, Glass Joe. 
Random crits. Oh crap, oh crap, oh god. Oh god, no. Oh shit, we don't got this, we don't got this. We do not got this. We're fucked. Yep, ugh. Damn it. Well, anyways, I hope this video helped you with the basics of TF2. Remember, this game is completely different from any first person shooter, and it's team based. So you can't just go in yourself and expect to win a game that way. No, you gotta rely on your team and try to pick the right class for the right situation. Well, anyways, this was Corn the Dragonborn with another fu fun slash educational TF2 video. I mean, do, honestly, don't rely on this game's training mode. It doesn't teach you much. Doesn't teach you how to do this. I mean, the better thing is to put down two and just you'll go farther and higher with those. Well, anyways, this has been fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So long!